Yes. No, uh, so I'm Naveen, I'm coming from New York City, I'm from Foursquare, and I'm here for two reasons. One, um, because I'm very, very incredibly excited that the mayor is now going to be on Foursquare, so he's going to be checking in all around town, everywhere he goes, and his meetings, um, you know, uh, new places that he goes to explore, and he's going to be leaving tips for everybody to find. So this way you get to get a sense of what he likes, what he likes about the city, um, what he feels passionate about. Um, we came to Chicago because Chicago is probably one of the most popular cities in Foursquare. Um, there are many hundreds of thousands of people checking in all over. Uh, it's a very tech-savvy city. You guys really understand uh, how to use Foursquare and what you use it for. Um, and one thing that we're really most passionate about and we're really proud of is that Foursquare brings attention to local businesses and it brings attention to communities all around. Um, and um, it, at the end of the day, creates jobs and, and gets people in the door and, and uh, leads to more business. The way we say it is, we help local businesses build their business. Um, and finally, the second thing is, we're also here to announce a new batch. Uh, and it's Foursquare's first ever city level batch. We're doing it here in Chicago. Uh, and it's going to be called the Windy City. And you'll be able to check in if you check into five of the 20 places that the city government has chosen, uh, then you'll earn this batch. And it's another way of showing uh, you know, how much you love the city and how much Foursquare matters. Thank you. I want to be honest, okay? Uh, don't take it as brutally honest, but I'll, I said to my staff on the way, I said, what is it I'm doing? What is this for <laughs> Just so, as I said to the press, Thank I said, yeah, no, I, yeah, I, how do you turn the thing on? No. Uh, <laughs> what is this? But uh, the truth is, uh, this is like all social media. It's fundamentally changing the way we communicate. And not just communicate, but connect to each other. I am very excited that you're launching it here in Chicago because I do, and I'm just going to say this, is part of what I'm trying to do for the city. Is every piece of this is about making our city an attractive place to raise a family or start a business. And part of the, that entire approach is bringing a safety to our streets, bringing a level where people have confidence in our schools to send their children, both K through 12 and, uh, and the other higher education opportunities that exist here, and also that our finances in our city are about shaping our future for that type of investment. And this is a part of a quality of life that attracts a workforce that I think is essential. And while you launch this here, there will be spin-offs. There will be people that will work for your company uh, that may have their own vision. And I think this is a multiplier effect, and I'm proud that Chicago is going to be uh, not the launch site for your company, not just for the interconnectedness, but also as a way to help establishments like here make people realize who's going there, what's happening, and give people a greater sense of intimacy that we today, as individuals, who are much, very wired, don't have a level of intimacy. And this is an attempt to give us that intimacy and relationship and community building you can't get any other way as we all get siloed off in our own individual worlds. And I'm excited about this for the business opportunity for the city. Excited that you're coming here and it's part of a whole, I think, attraction of making Chicago, as I've said, the best place to invest, the best place to raise a family, the best place to start a business. And my hope is, uh, as uh, Joe said, a number of you are from small liberal arts schools from around the Midwest, Grinnell, Carlton. That was a jump out. No. McCall <laughs> McAllister, not. Say say now, but you're all right. Well you're gonna hit graduation. I want you to get on that highway, get on that plane, get on that train, come to Chicago, make Chicago home because you got a future and we have a future with you. Thank you very much. Now, I know he's gonna, Joe said that he has a written exam for you, and I'm sure you're really excited about that. See you later. Pop quiz. Hello, how are you? How's it going? I'm the mayor of our house, by the way. I know who you are.
there you have it. <laughs> so, good for you. We got a little more, so everybody keep it quiet. So, um, my name is Kevin Hauser. I'm the director of social media for the mayor, and we wanted to open up for any questions for Naveen about what this partnership means uh, for Foursquare as well as the city. So, if there's uh, any questions from this side or over here, we're happy to take them. <laughs> Yeah. Is that effective right now, like starting this minute? Today? Uh, does the bath go to the Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We just pull the uh, switch on it. Great. So it's the line. Kevin, can you explain how this is going to work? Can you explain how this is going to work? This whole post Sure. The way that the city badge works is that um, for the first time ever, so the city of Chicago has a badge for people to unlock as they go out and explore cultural institutions out in the neighborhoods. So it's really getting out and exploring those cultural gems like up here in Rogers Park and all across the city. So there have been 20 locations that have been pre-selected all across the neighborhoods. Um, Jane Addams Hall House, Garfield Park Conservatory, uh, and the way these work is that when you check into five, you unlock the Windy City badge. So you can be a proud owner uh, and show off to all your friends that you really get Chicago and have explored some of those great institutions out in the neighborhoods. And what's the advantage of having that badge? You can show it off to all your friends. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Why? Why is Foursquare doing the city badge? What? What? What's the difference with this versus what you're already doing with individual institutions? Yeah. Um, so we've already been doing what we call like the core set of badges, which are about you know personal experience and. Uh, getting better at, you know, personal stats, you know, how, exploring different things, showing off a little bit about you. And the, and the idea behind the city badge is that it calls out, you know, one of your passions in life, which is where you live, and um, showing off a lot about how much you know about your neighborhood, and um, showing off not only to your community, to your friends in your own city, but also to the rest of the world when you travel, and friends in other cities that want to, you know, um, recognize Chicago in some way. Are there discounts involved? So we, we've, uh, we have a uh, uh, program in place inside Foursquare called Specials, and we've had this for you know, a couple of years now. And the idea of Specials is that as people are going around checking in and uh, kind of showing off where they are and what they're doing and how many times they go to a certain place, uh, businesses can actually come in on the other side and come up and offer Specials. So they could offer you a discount, a special uh, a free item at the bar or a free appetizer or something along those lines um, for various triggers. So if you come in the first time, they could reward you for that. If you come in 10 times, they could reward you for uh, with something different. If you bring in five of your friends, there's a little special reward in that. Um, so it's up to the business to come up with something unique and something very personal to their place. Uh, and we see hundreds of thousands of these all around the world already. Um, and it's, uh, it's continually growing. By his own admission, the mayor didn't quite seem to get it. And yet, we understand he's, he's going to be using it. He's over 50. All right, well, so how is this going to work? And, and Kevin, I mean, this may be one of you. You know, what's the learning curve for the mayor, and, and how will he be showing up on Foursquare, and when? Sure, and you know, I think it's our job as staff, especially when it comes to social media, to make sure that the mayor is looking at ways to better connect with the people. Um, and this is a tool that we think fits into that. And it, it kind of takes you from street festivals to Facebook to Foursquare. So we will make sure that the, the public has a, a connect, uh, an opportunity to connect with the mayor. Uh, and much like if you were to call City Hall, the mayor doesn't always pick up the phone. When you're working on Foursquare, there will be a team that's ensuring that as he's out there exploring Chicago and doing all sorts of things with the public, that whether you were there or you're not, you have an opportunity to partake in that. So the mayor himself, do you expect the mayor himself to be pressing the button to check in? I do, and if I lose my job tomorrow, it's on you. <laughs> <laughs> makes this different? I mean, why is this informative versus a uh, campaign kind of uh, trust? I mean, it almost seems to, maybe I'm wrong, but it seems it's a tool for the mayor to be sort of campaigning. Well, I think part of it is that as the mayor is going around and, and talking to a group about something that's really important for the city, um, that this is a way that we can continue to get, to have, to allow people to hear those messages and interact back with us. So this will not just be used for things the mayor likes or interesting things, but this could be used, for example, uh, if the mayor were to stop by an event about uh, to do a blood drive, for example, and he can check in there and say, if anyone else wants to donate, go call 311 to find a center near you. So there is a public information aspect to this that is extremely important. But if he goes to a restaurant he likes and, and, and mentions that, that's going to help that restaurant, right? 
It could, but I think that the, the, the idea behind this, this badge and this program is to help small businesses, help the neighborhoods, and continue to drive people to explore those things that are around them. Why these 20 locations, not any other 20? So we worked very closely with Foursquare and with the Department of Cultural Affairs to look at a diversity of locations that both had, they were intrinsic to Chicago and represented the diversity of the neighborhoods. So these are the 20 that we're kicking off with. Um, down the road, there are always opportunities for conversation, but these are the first 20 that you're going to be only able to check into to unlock the Chicago badge if you check into five. Facebook has a similar program, Facebook Places and there are other services, did the city go through any kind of process to decide that it was going to work with Foursquare, or was it the other way around? So we have a uh, long relationship with Foursquare, actually. So um, we've been working with, the city has been working with Foursquare for tourism-related programs for many years, since 2010. So this was a natural progression of that partnership. And yes, we're using Foursquare, we're also using Facebook, and using Twitter, and using YouTube. So it's really a matter of looking at the tools that allow us to connect with folks in new ways. Uh, and Foursquare is, is, has an opportunity for us to do that. One more question. Foursquare, what's in it for you? I mean, why did you pick Chicago? Um, as I mentioned, Chicago is um, probably one of the most popular cities in Foursquare. Um, it's a city that's very diverse. There are a lot of many great communities here, a lot of great businesses. Um, it's good for tourism. Um, and we did it because, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, the users have been clamoring for city-level badges. They want to, you know, show off pride and uh, how happy they are about the place of residence. Um, and there was no better city to start it. Are you going to be adding more and more places to this? Yeah, of course. We'll start, we're starting with Chicago, obviously, and then we're going to look at other cities with similar profiles that are interesting and uh, where the users are kind of engaged and passionate about wanting something. I'm talking about more places within Chicago. What do you find? The, the door is open yeah. to, to look into that. We're going to start with our 20 and really make sure people are excited and active and visiting the ones that are out there. And then we can always we'll maintain a conversation with Foursquare to see what, what happens next. Th thank you very much. Uh, how much is Foursquare standard gain financially? Yeah. Are you a for-profit business? Actually, I have a question. Yeah. So. <laughs> my work. <laughs> First of all, my, my wife is a real active Foursquare user, so uh, she's a mayor of our house. Um, uh, have you um, given any thought to moving your corporate headquarters to Chicago? We'd love to have you. In fact, I know a neighborhood in Chicago that would be perfect. For you. Maybe at some point, yeah. That would be great. 